So are you ready to see the DIY custom closet of my dreams that only took seven months to complete? All right, three, two, one. I've been working on this closet for seven months. That's embarrassing. <laughs> hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my boudoir, which I guess apparently is French for bedroom. It just sounds fancy. Welcome back to my bedroom. Welcome back to my house. Welcome back into my life. So if you guys are new here, please hit the bell, get the notification, subscribe, do all of the things because I mean, why not? Here is the thing. If you've been subscribed to my channel, since I started it last year. You know that I've been in this whole journey to the pinnacle of adulting, if that's even a thing. And one of the biggest things I did last year was buy my very first place and completely redo it. I'm so happy with the way it turned out from the kitchen to the bathroom, to all the decor, to this room, which became a huge pleasant surprise because I wasn't really too focused on the bedroom, but I love the way that it turned out. But if you guys have been following me for even longer than when I moved into this place, you'll know that in my last apartment, you know the one that Mr. Kate and Joey basically turned into the studio apartment of the internet's dreams? Well, I had an amazing custom closet installed in that apartment, and when I moved, that was definitely one of the hardest things to say goodbye to. Although when I moved into this place, it seemed like the closet in my bedroom was pretty big. But my friends, that was before this huge life event happened and I found out, oh wait, I'm gonna need to be sharing this closet because I got engaged and Chris is gonna be moving into my place and spoiler alert, there's absolutely no room for any of his stuff and the babe doesn't even have that much stuff so this essentially became a huge looming problem. So let's go back in time, shall we? Back to a time I like to call February of 2019. Okay, so it's not really that long ago, but it is seven months ago, and it feels like a different lifetime ago. Chris and I were not engaged yet at the time, but I was definitely starting to think about what we were gonna do when we did get engaged and when he does eventually move and get all his stuff in here, and like I said, there's no space. My dad, Phil, you guys know him. He's been on this channel a ton. He's recently retired and very available for any of your needs. Well, he came over to my house to help me kind of move some stuff around when I just like casually mentioned that I really wanted to do like a DIY custom closet. And if you guys know Phil, you know that things went from casual to like full speed ahead real quick. Yes. <laughs> so we're taking the measurements because as much as I love the fact that I did reorganize my closet, it's still so inefficient. Like what is the deal with like how far back it goes back there? It only goes three foot 10. That's, isn't that silly though? Isn't that a silly use of space? Oh, sorry, two foot 10. That makes a big difference. I still feel like it's way too much space back there. It's just dead space. The problem is obviously there's a couple of issues. So here is the breaker box for your place. You can't touch that. Everything comes into it. All the electrical, everything. And then there's also... And then there's also a plug here, which probably could be moved. Okay. When you move, now you're into the flooring. Which, which yeah, we have to no, have. I don't want to deal with that. Place. Because in order to make it look clean, you're going to go over here and guess what? This flooring is not going to Not going to go over there. I don't want to deal with that. It's not going to be underneath the walls. There's going to be nothing but maybe concrete. That could be fixed, but that helps make your decision for you. But I mean, even up top, I'm trying to utilize this space as best as possible. That's an eight foot ceiling, so it's exactly the same as this. Okay. It's exactly the same. The difference is you got popcorn on the ceiling, which we're not going to touch. I'm not because interested. Because remember it's cement popcorn, so it's not going to come off very easy. Yes, I remember I had to have a new ceiling installed you a altogether. You cables up here that probably run to your front room, which is a good idea to have it there and exposed in case you have any problems. You can okay. Get to it. I'm thinking that over here we put in two layers of hanging with enough space for me to be able to clear to get in. And then over here, put in some drawers in this area maybe with some hanging above it so that the drawers can still clear this right here right uh -huh. that whole area over there if you went top and bottom would get you right to here all this what do you mean over there 
Oh, okay, so this is actually very important to know is that you need to measure all of your hanging clothes so that you know how much you're gonna need once you install new hanging racks. So my dad is measuring right now how much hanging clothes I have so that when we install the new rod. So if you install in the corner over here, you got 24 inches going that way. If you're gonna hang the clothes that way, you got 24 inches, you can put a top rack and a bottom rack. Right. Then you just have to turn it, you're able to get in there. So some of this stuff would have to go a little bit. Right, away. exactly. Maybe to right in here so you could clear it and get in there. And there's probably some shallower cabinets you could stick in there that won't be in your way, you know? But you could get 24 inches twice, which Which is you, how much stuff? Brings you on these hangers right to here. Okay, that's awesome. So it leaves this stuff here to be figured out. This has all gotta be go away. All of it. Yeah. Unless you wanted to put in some cabinets. Like up higher. Sit like that, they're that deep. Right, for like jewelry or like something like that. Just, yeah, hats. Or I could like hang my hat collection right there. Yeah. Do you like my hats? No. <laughs> let's pull them on. Okay, see. let's take a look. Why don't you try on some of my hats? This is gonna be fun. Watch this. So I have what's known as a large head. <laughs> How good does that look? My head's seven and five eight. Dad, you look yeah. so fashion. When I, I want to. Hey, when I played high school football, I could barely get my head up with the helmet on. Let's see what that. <laughs> I ran forward about five steps before I could actually stand up. Let's see this one. Oh, oh this one's gonna look really good. This one's so awesome. Coachella. What's up? Dad, there's actually that beanie right behind you. You should Ooh. try that too. Actually, you look so cute. So G. It's the one and only Digo Double G. How about this? When you're done building my closet for me for free, I'll give you that. Okay. Sound good? That's, that's, that's a driver, for sure. <laughs> On the other side of this closet, I have more like jackets, etc. But, I mean, hopefully, Dad, I'll be sharing this space with someone else someday. I would hope. <laughs> Oh, no. But like, what, where? Lily? Lily's gonna move in with you. <laughs> Lily! Oh my goodness, I love Lily, Lily and I together in this king size. Lily, bed. my third daughter. Exactly. No, Lily's welcome to move in though. But I already told her she could live with you. If Lily moves in with me, she's the one buying the burgers. <laughs> She'd probably be glad to contribute that. Exactly. So as you guys can see from that initial time in my closet with my dad, we were really just looking at the space and doing what I recommend that you do 5,000 times before you ever proceed with any home project ever. And that is measure, measure again, measure again. And then, hey, when you think you're done, measure one more time. Because as you're going to see in this video, even with all the measuring we did, we still screwed this project up so royally. <laughs> I mean, that's why it's seven months later. So, cut to a few days later, Phil and I, we went to Ikea. We made it to the promised land. Oh, uh, this is why I don't go with you places like this. I'm excited. <laughs> Can I call security? <laughs> and we knew going into Ikea kind of what we wanted. We knew that we wanted to do partially a DIY project and partially the pack system, which is at Ikea, which by the way, this video is not spawned, but I do think they have the most affordable options if you are interested in doing a project on your own. And we decided to do partially DIY because we felt like that was how we would really be able to maximize the space in this weird closet. Because like you guys saw on each side of the closet, there are like these two and a half feet of space that are just really, really hard to access. So what we decided to do was to put in hanging clothes sections on each of those sides to really, again, maximize the space. All right, look what made it. This is just literally maybe half or one third of the boxes that Ikea delivered with really little to no directions at all. Chris started moving all of the pieces and organizing them in my room, and what's happening? The sneezing fit right now, first of all, well, but. It's a good thing you're so good at building Ikea furniture, because here is the first portion of the shelves. He said it took him an hour to just organize all the different pieces, and apparently all this is going in here. Yep. How do you feel about it? I mean, I think it's gonna be amazing. Do you think you should wear goggles while you're building? No, because there's not like a lot of like, Debris. You should stay shirtless though. I think that's uh, that's a good look on that's you. That's my compromise. Goggles are shirtless. I'm going shirtless. All right, we'll be careful. Thank you. Wow, so as you can see, everything arrived. Cut to Chris being the angel that he is. He put everything together and then, shocker, it didn't work out. Well, guess what? We're back at Ikea. Because shocker, I bought a bunch of the wrong stuff that doesn't fit because it's the wrong size, which my dad told me originally. So this is the tape measure, okay? This is the size you need, just a little under 20 inches. 
And I think you bought one bigger. So now we got a tape measure. This should fix the problem. Anyways, we're back at Ikea, so excited to be here. <laughs> we ordered everything we thought we needed. Chris, the angel of all angels, puts everything together. <laughs> What's going on, dude? Just shirtless hammering. Excited for this to be done. It's been a long time coming. And here's when your girl truly starts to lose it. It didn't work again. For not the first, not the second, but the third time, I apparently ordered all the wrong size items for my closet. Here they all are. This one's even fully built. Just a ton of extra pieces down here. Oh wait, there's more over here. Wow. Well, I guess third time, as they say, was a charm. Thankfully for anyone who had to be anywhere near me because this process almost put me over the edge. So after months and months of work, and when I say work, I mean, honestly, let's be real. It was mostly my dad and Chris doing the work and me just kind of being like scattered all over the place. After months and months of work, the closet is finally finished. We did the whole DIY portion of the closet, which was installing all of the hanging racks. We have all of the pack system pieces in place. I did a ton of zezzerizing. Chris brought over a bunch of his stuff to see how it will fit into the closet. And I can't believe it, seven months later, and the DIY custom closet of my dreams is finally done. All right, three, two, one. closet from before. It was essentially like a pretty basic closet with hanging that went all the way across, but I thought that wasn't really efficient enough, especially considering there was so much space. I mean, I'm all the way in here. Hello. There was so much space. So what we did, and by we, I mean what my dad did, was build three tiers of hanging for like shirts and pants and suits and jackets. And I feel like this is so efficient. And truthfully, it's not even really that hard to grab this stuff, but this is all stuff I don't really need to get to too often. Often. So this was definitely one of the DIY elements that I'm really proud of. I'm also really excited about what we did with these baskets that are hanging right here. These are actually meant to hold like books and magazines, but I thought it was a really perfect addition to put some of my smaller handbags, smaller backpacks. And then of course we have this jewelry storage right here, which is so awesome have some of my accessories inside of there. I can also get like a nice last look. And then I added some tap lights because it is pretty dark. Adds a little bit of extra lighting. Those are just battery powered. And of course I have my YouTube 100,000 subscriber signs. Another thing that I was so excited about that I found on Amazon were these hampers, which fit into corners. So I got two of them. I put one on this side and then one on the other side that Chris will use. And then this in the center is the pack system from Ikea. As you can see, I did a combination of hanging and shelving from the very beginning of this video when I measured how much hanging clothes I had. This pretty much measured out perfectly. So I have dresses, I have more dresses down here, and then this is a really cool spot when I'm getting ready to go to something. Like say I love this little dress. I'll be like, oh, maybe I'll wear that and I can hang it here and look at it and I could steam it if I need to or whatever. And then if I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna wear that, just hang it right back up. I have all my sweaters folded, all my shorts and my jeans and sweatshirts, and then all of my shoes. I have way too many shoes. So let's hop over to the other side. Over on this side, you can see the rest of all the folded stuff and the shoes. But I also put in some really great drawers over here, which Chris will use to house pretty much anything. And they're really, really spacious. I have more jackets over here, another little hanging insert here, and then over on Chris's side, which has already started putting some of his stuff in, we have 
have two racks of hanging and then on the bottom we have some shoe storage. I added a little bit more shoe storage here as well. And then we have a little hamper for him, some hat hangers up top. And then all the way at the top up here is where I'm storing all of my luggage. I'm really excited with the way that it turned out. I would honestly love a closet that is significantly larger than this, like 10 times larger. But this is a really good way of constantly paring down what you have. This closet regenerates itself constantly, so I'm constantly having to get rid of more stuff, which I think is great because honestly, how many shirts does one woman need? I'd like to say I need 7,000 shirts, but I know that's not true. Let's see what Chris thinks. So Chris is here. I'm here, hello. In the process of the seven month closet, we got engaged. So you're gonna live here soon. It's really weird, <laughs> it's weird to think about living in this beautiful beautiful condo is it weird to think about considering you've also done all the work on this place I mean you just did such an amazing job it's like a it's not a boys home for sure because it's way too nice well it's about to be a boys home and you're about to live with a girl for the first time because Chris is the oldest of six boys for the first day of the rest of my life <laughs> are you excited to see the closet yeah I thought to, to live with you but yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> yes I'm excited for the closet okay open too. it up I want to see what you think what? Wow. Now that everything is in here, what do you it think? It was like a bar when you got it. One bar. Look at all the space. If you walk inside, are you impressed? Oh. You can actually fit in there. Dang, this is great. You want to go see what your side is? Yes, I do. So, I only get... Hey, hey. 20% hey. or is this a fair deal here? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, it's not, obviously. Wow, my stuff looks cool in here. Do you want more space? Because we have to move. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I'm a realtor. I know. Can you find us a new house gonna, where I can... It's a huge walk-in closet. It's going to be our in our next house. Great. I'm so excited. But also, I love this closet. I'm dying to hear from you guys. What did you think of the before and after of this amazing DIY custom closet? And I just Overall, have to give it... good job. It works out so good that you're like the best designer ever. <laughs> LOL. It works out so good that I have free manual labor from this babe and my dad. You guys hit the comments. Let me know what you think of this closet and let me know what project you think we should take on next. I mean, will it be my patio? Should we rebuild my bathtub? Should we redo the tile? Should we move? <laughs> <laughs> he has no answers. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. Hopefully, we'll be serving up more morsels just like this one. And learning Me and, and growing, growing together, together with, with the, the closet. closet. Wow. <laughs> Love. <laughs> Bye, guys.